Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 92 of my trailer Let's Play. So in the last episode, we really kind of improved the arena here. It could be better, but it's it's definitely a huge improvement of the over the old arena. I could expand this to add more lava. I might try that just before the next night begins. But currently, it's uh, I believe the sun was like right around here when I started. So it's very early day, so we can't do the pumpkin moon quite yet. That gives us time to clear our inventories and get some things ready. So tonight, we are going to attempt the pumpkin moon again. We're definitely more prepared. I think we'll I think we'll definitely have a better chance of doing what I need. I'm just going to get rid of that banner. It's pointless. But, like, during the day here, what I'm going to do is try and... Ah, what, what, what am I trying to think of here? Try and improve my inventory. Uh, I get potions, basically. Get some things I may need. Just Just some small tweaks before for the events ready and I'm just trying to get all this junk out of my inventory so no point keeping these traps or the wires or any of that I'd like to have a relatively empty inventory I can just keep these campfires I mean there's no point in really deleting them I want I, I want to make more magic power potions they only last two minutes so that's kind of a problem I do still need to place these heart lanterns over there I haven't forgotten uh, let's go through here and like quick stack some things I'm sure like unicorn horns and I have so much pixie dust. This is another minor improvement to all stats. I'm going to keep these. I don't know if I doubt I'll run out of those. Actually, no, that's 15 minutes. It's these I'm worried about because it's a two-minute duration, which is really not a long time. I could make more iron skin potions. Uh, Sorcerer's emblem. I need to get this reforged. No, I think about it. So, why are they, I don't even know why these doors are shut. I don't remember shutting them. Anyway, let's try and get a menacing on this. I think it'll be a lot cheaper. Cause it's kind of a basic accessory and menacing is what we're looking for here warding's good got three platinum left no warding menacing come on armored I've gotten a warding twice got a lot of defensive ones so far oh my goodness I, I'm going to burn through all my money. Oh, okay. Come on. You're menacing. All right. The reason I did menacing, of course, was the extra 4% damage. And I'm going to replace my boots here. I'm going to keep my magic cusp for this night. And depending on how well I do, I may swap that with an Avengers emblem. We'll still get one of those. Put menacing on it. But the boots really serve no purpose during the moon. It's going to stink when I don't have them because I'm going to feel so much... Oh, my God. I feel so slow without them. But yeah, it's not going to be a big deal. We're going to be doing a lot of standing still, basically. So the big focus will be the Nimbus Rod here. A lot of that, a lot of Shadow Beam Staff, a lot of peeing on the enemies. Maybe some Inferno Fork. Uh, is our guide back yet? Okay, he is. Cool. Because I'm going to use the guide here. I feel like an NPC or something is not where they should be. Hmm. Whatever. Let's just put the guide here. I always put him here. Anyway, I just want to talk to him about some potions, I guess. Not talk, but show him some potions or potion ingredients to see what I need for some things here. Because I can never remember with potions. There's so many different recipes. Okay. A regen potion will be good. Um, that's just added regen. So that's just a day bloom and mushroom. I might make a crap ton of those. Iron skin potions are easy. Day bloom and uh, the respective ore, so iron or lead. Magic power. So Deathweed, Moonglow, and Stars. I don't know if I have Stars. I think I do. So I want Deathweed, Moonglow, and Stars. And I want Mushrooms and Dayblooms. Okay, I do want my bottle of water back right now. I don't have too many of those. Not that that is hard to obtain. Okay. So, Stars. I have six in here. I have a feeling I have more somewhere else. I want these Thorns Potions. Those will help us. Uh, mushrooms? I thought I, I always kind of just get rid of the mushrooms, really. I should keep them more. And then Daybloom's down here, of course. Daybloom. Let's just get, like, I don't know, a few. <laughs> and then we'll get some iron ore out here. Or lead. I might actually use the lead because I want to kind of get rid of it. Because there's no lead in this world, I don't think. I think this world has iron. Okay. And we just go near the potion stand here. And regen potions are nice and easy to make. So how long do they last? Five minutes? I'll keep five for now. Iron skin potion. And where's my magic? Oh, I didn't get death weed. Go me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four. Yeah, we'll just add some more to there. And we have... Okay. Let's just get some death wood really quick before I forget. And we also need moon glow. And let's just get... A handful. I don't know. <laughs> no specified amount. Just enough to get us through one night. And once we start getting better gear, we really won't need to use potions. I mean, technically I don't need to. But it helps. So I'm going to. <laughs> And eventually, whenever my farm's like just crazy good, and I have so many resources just kind of sitting around, then I'll just start making potions willy nilly. Like, I could really go all out and just make a buttload of potions, but let's let's not say we did. Okay, so let's clear out my inventory here. Just gonna start quick stacking some things here. I need to stop deleting my mushrooms. I, I'm coming to the conclusion that I need more than. I, yeah, I, I always delete them. They're always annoying because they're in my inventory that I use them to heal. And let's just combine those. Uh, death beat I need to put away. Lead can go over here. So, I mean, I could make way more, but I'm not going to for now. I don't want to bore you to death with potions and stuff. Death weed. Before I do go to the uh, pumpkin moon arena kind of thing over here, let's just farm up some resources. Get our farms cleared up. And I think I'm actually going to start making a buttload of potions after I do a, the pumpkin moon a few times. Because then there's always the frost moon, and I have no idea how that is. I have never even done it. I've done the pumpkin moon before, but that was also with another person, so it was a little bit easier. I had a lot more damage, basically. Alright. And where my seeds go? There they are. It's a little bit hard to see where the fire blossoms are, because the lava is kind of like right there. All I can really see is like a single pixel. <laughs> So just quick stack, and there's only like four of those water leaf. I'm not even gonna worry about them. I don't actually use water leaf too often. Day bloom, and of course, yet again clay pots and random flowers growing. <laughs> it's so obnoxious. I always complain about it. Okay, just quick stack, and I don't, I don't need to worry about torches. We have plenty of potions in case I need to heal. I could buy some mana potions, but I mean, we have mana cuffs, so I'm not worried about that. Don't forget to equip that. Uh, I think we're good, really. Let me just see what time of day it is. Okay, so it's going to be night here shortly. Is there anything else I can think of, maybe potion-wise, or... Just something to give us a boost here. Do I have anything in here, maybe? Ah, uh, swiftness potions won't hurt. I'll take them, because I won't be wearing my boots. Um... Hmm. Feather fall potions would just be an annoyance. Uh, I think we're good, really. And is there any other fancy weapons in here that might make or break me? I think the leaf blower might actually be good. Is that pierce? I can't remember. I saw somebody use it before. Whatever. Uh, I'm not worried about it. So let's just go over to the arena here. I want to mess around with like the amount of lava that's there. And by mess around with the amount of lava, I mean kind of extend the, the the ground that's covered in lava so there's more lava on screen basically so more more for them to be taking damage in and I think we'll be ready ready as I'll ever be no wisp so it's gonna be a little bit dark till I get one of those I really should just get one off screen so you guys don't have to see me do it again I don't like doing things off screen I say that all the time but yeah I gotta get around to that Did I, I think I just one hit that pixie with the magnet sphere that's how much damage we're doing, and that's without my Sorcerer's Emblem. I mean, there's there's so many more ways I could up my damage. I just really haven't. I just want to see if this will hopefully not make my lava disappear. I don't know how far I can extend this little lake I got here. Oh, no! 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 Well, let's not do it that way. Unfortunately, that means I have to go back home. Okay, let's just leave it at that. Let's not let's not screw the pooch here too much. And I don't want to waste any of the night, so I need to hurry up, go back down, get back over there. I think I deleted my buckets. Don't care. I have plenty of iron to make up for that. I don't want to steal this lava here, because I think that lava is at the bare minimum. So let's just grab some lava, go place it again, and then just be ready. Don't want to waste time. You want to start the pumpkin moon right away, basically. And I realize I also forgot my medallion. So when I get back up to the surface, I will grab those. So either way, we kind of had to come home. Okay. Hey, merman. I'm just going to kind of 
teleport past you. So I don't have to deal with you. <laughs> Come on, lava. I know you're down here. You can't hide from me. There you are. Is that merman shooting at me? For real? Okay. Grab my medallions. I believe I put them in a chest around here. Yep. And then let's get over here, put the lava down, put the heart lanterns down, and we should be good. I just gotta remember, Nimbus Rod is huge. This is going to be a lot of my damage and a lot of my healing. I kinda wanna move my heat ray. Because I don't think I'm gonna be using it that much. I might be I think I'm gonna be using the Shadow Beam staff more. Let's just get over there quick. Quick, 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 quick. Don't wanna waste any of the night! Yeah, I mean, you want to kind of maximize your time spent so you don't waste a medallion and get as many kills in as you can. Be as efficient as possible. And I know my farm isn't e super efficient, but, I mean, it's not perfect. And I'm not going to spend hours striving for perfection on camera and drive people insane. I do enough of that trying to get my uh, Wisp in a Bottle back. So let's just add a dirt block here. The reason I'd say that is just so we can hang a lantern from it. Because it has to be a solid block. And now we should get our Heart Lantern buff. We have all these potions in my inventory. And, of course, we want the, the buff from that. So Nimbus Rods will basically be like this. We'll be sitting under it. It'll kill whatever's below us. And also hit the uh, Pumpkin pumpkin King. And I'll be using Shadow Beam Staff a lot, too. And, you know, of course, when we take damage, we will get magic back. So mana should not be a problem. And of course, we want to have the trap going. Alright, where are you at, moon slash sun? It's probably like right here. I guess I press tab. It's like on the verge of night. We're going to use our buff, and then we're going to activate the uh, medallion. Come on. Music needs to change. You could do it! Oh, I want to get spooky wigs. Well, they're way better. And also, just before I forget, oink. And now we're of course slow, and we don't get super speed buffs, but we do way more damage. There we go. Buff. Medallion. Nimbus Rod. Of course, these first waves are really just trash, so let's just kill them with like you know Magnusphere, and does we don't really need to do anything other than just kill things as fast as we can from up here. No need to put ourselves at risk. And I say that as I waste a lot of my mana, but it's okay because I can drop down here and go loot all that, no problem. It's whenever I start getting things that will hit me that I won't have to worry about mana because of my magic cuffs. Yeah, <laughs> the traps are doing their thing, for sure. Like, half of them aren't even making it to the lava pit. It's because the spiky balls are getting them, which is awesome. Uh, let's try the heat ray. Okay, morning woods. Okay, so this is where we're going to want to get some Nimbus rods here. Get the morning wood to get underneath it. And just kind of mess them up as best we can. Let's try that. I mean, my Nimbus Rod really is messing him up. He's in traps. He's in... Yeah. I think we'll be good. Let's try the Inferno Fork. Eh? I mean, we're fine on HP. There's no problems there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get here. I need to make sure that he stays under the... Inf or, I'm sorry, the uh, Nimbus Rods. Don't mind me if I go quiet here sometimes. I'm sure people want me to go quiet. But I might try and, you know, pay more attention to the game. I want to do good here. Okay, we're still in the Morningwood waves. I think the next wave is the pumpkin. That's wave 7. Okay. And there's no harm in actually dodging, but we should get to the point where we can just tank it. Okay. Oh, I was using the wrong... <laughs> <laughs> I was rapidly shooting Magnusphere. That's because it got stuck. I hate that. But, I mean, once we get the Inferno Fork in here... Oh, I can't wait till I get the Bat Scepter. We don't have to aim. Just basically shoot and kill things. 
So now it's the Pumpkin King. So things are a little bit different here. I want to do a little bit of this. Actually, I'm going to try the Inferno Fork. I think the Inferno Fork works good if I just keep dodging like this. As long as I keep him in the Nimbus Rod. Alright, Nimbus Rod is helping. Put the Nimbus Rod down again, just in case. Okay, he's gonna go down. We're good on HP. I haven't healed yet. Okay, he's dead, and there should be one that'll spawn right away, basically. Just refresh the Nimbus Rods. Get some heals in while we can. And we're just waiting for another Pumpkin King as my pet spins circles aimlessly. <laughs> okay, now let's get under these and get the Morning Wood. Because he does hurt. Okay, the Pumpkin King is priority one, though. Now remember, I'm double healing here. Here, I'm healing off the Pumpkin King and the Morning Wood. This is where I want to try the Shadow Beam Staff. If I can aim below me correctly. That way I hit both enemies. I'm going to heal just in case. And remember, i got to keep the Pumpkin King in the... In this rides a little bit more. So let me just get them up higher. Pumpkin King is going to go down here. There he goes. So we're doing better. Oh, I accidentally fell in the lava, but I got a bunch of health, so it's okay. Let's get a Magnusphere out to follow him up as he goes up there. Just extra heals. I feel like I'm taking a bunch of unnecessary damage. There are some hearts there. There's no problems there. I think my magic power potion wore off. I'll press B here. Auto buff. We're good on health. Let's get the Nimbus rods up again. I mean, we're doing better, for sure. We're on wave 11. I think there's 15 waves, and then it's just nothing but Pumpkin Kings. Oh, I want the Bat Scepter game. It's gonna be a lot of killing the Pumpkin King, basically, to get that. Morning. Okay, we're out of mana. Let's just jump down here, grab a bunch of Minasaurs. Well, I'll heal everything anyway. Okay, Pumpkin King. Just be safe here. Put those back down. Interesting. Not healing enough there. Alright, I'm about to jump down here and get a bunch of health. <laughs> Oh my goodness, how am I dying so fast? What's hitting me? What's going on? Let's do some dodging here while we heal. Okay, it's just Pumpkin Kings. Okay, I want my stream to hit them on the way up and the way down. We've got a Necromantic Scroll. It's a drop, but it's not the drop I want. Heal, 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 heal. It's like I'm not doing enough damage or something right now. I do have them underneath my Nimbus Rod, though. And the Nimbus Rod just wore off. Okay, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. Get in the HPs! Yes, hearts. That's what we needed. If I get in the HPs, I then get in the hearts. <laughs> Panic! That's what it was. Okay, we're taking too much damage. Oh no! Get in the hearts! I fucked that one up. I act my spacebar is broken, and I couldn't jump because it's stuck. Yes, I totally just played that on my spacebar. But yeah, I got stuck there. Pumpkin Moon is still going, so I mean... Oh crap. Let's just... Oh, okay. Walter didn't die. Walter didn't die. We're good, we're good, we're good. Walter? I don't care if they die. Let's just get over the arena for what little bit of the night is is there. So we got the Necromantic Scroll. It's not something I'm particularly interested in, as I'm not somebody who does anything with minions, but it's something to have. 
I just want the bat sapper. That'll change everything. We'll do so much more damage. Oh my, look at all these morning woods. I think they actually made morning woods immune to the golden shower debuff. I don't think they were originally. I could just be making things up. Okay. And of course, I don't have any of my buffs right now. Except for the fact that I just used them. I, gotta f I think it's because the Pumpkin King is, like, in me. And by in me, I mean he's too close to me. Oh my god. Oh! What am I doing? It's also my spiky balls. That's my bad. That's just me being stupid. I probably haven't been noticing that at all this whole time. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Okay, we're good there. Night's about to end here. I, I want to get these kills in. Try the heat ray a little bit. Oh my god. Now they're not going to have their health. So, apparently I suck and I'm still just not doing enough damage. <sighs> okay. Let me just get that Fallen Star. Oh shit, no, let me get out of here before Walter dies. Teleport, teleport! <laughs> it's all for Walter! <laughs> okay, so Walter's fine. Oh! I didn't change my boots back. That may have been what did it. I mean, okay, it sounds like the night ended. Let me just go over here and get my gold and collect all my stuff and bask in my shame. But yeah, we got more Scarecrow stuff, which is just more things to sell. Uh, I still think I need a, that Avengers emblem and then just to spam mana pots by myself. I just don't do enough damage. And I wasn't even realizing it, I was too busy focusing on killing things. That, I was going down here in my spiky ball traps, like I just did there. That hurts. That's probably what was killing me a lot of the time. So someone was probably calling me an idiot. And they would be right. Unfortunately, the drop we got is not the drop I want. Stupid necromantic scroll. And I realized I could be walking down here, and not catching fire. <laughs> so we did get some drops, just not what we want. So I think what I'll do here, I'll just go back to my house. Actually, let me get rid of the, uh... Th this is proof that I died. Let's just get rid of it. It never happened. <laughs> Let's go sell my Scarecrow uh, outfit, because it's just free money, really. I'll do some things from there. Walter survived, so it's perfectly okay. I don't care if any of the other NPCs die. These were a 60 silver pop. That's four. Or I'm sorry, that's four gold. That's almost five gold, actually. Nice. Um. I get rid of the bucket. Oh, hey, there's another scarecrow thingy in my inventory. Let's get rid of that. Oh, man, that sucked. <sighs> we did better. And the second time, like, when I died and I ran back over, I died so much quicker. I really think it's because I didn't have this. So he's doing so much less damage. I usually use warding because I always play a melee character. I'm almost wondering if warding is what I want. Like, somehow I don't think it'll be worth it. I think doing more damage is better. Arwin. Hmm. We got a plenty. We got. We have plenty of spooky wood now, so that's not a problem. Okay. And it is a material. I'm not sure what it's using, and I'm. I know there is a recipe. I mean, obviously there's one, but let's just show you here real quick. Papyrus Scarab. Increase your max number of minions. Hercules Beetle. Okay, I remember they added that. Increase so this is basically really for people who play pet builds or want to have a pet build. I'm not really a fan of those, so I'm not going to do it. Ugh. Is there any other potions, though, that I can make that will help me out? We did better. There's, there's no... I have another Sorcerer's Emblem? Why didn't I combine them? I'm an idiot. Oh! I'm sorry, it's because I got one off screen. <laughs> I did it before I went to work and I totally forgot about it. I am sorry, guys. Let's just combine this so you guys can see it. I'm... I'm going to keep the menacing one here so I don't accidentally use the one that's better. So this should give me an Avenger Emblem. And that's 12% increased damage. Yeah, I, I did it off screen. I said I was going to uh, the last episode. I was going to do this for you so you didn't have to see me do it. I was going to kill the wall flesh a few times so you didn't have to watch. I should be able to combine the 
Armored Eye of the Golem with the Avenger emblem and get the Destroyer emblem. And the difference is, this is 12% increased damage. This is only 10, however, it increases the crit strike chance by 8. And I think that's worth it. I do have 2 Platinum. Let's see if we can get anything out of this. This might be expensive. Oh yeah. Come on. I don't have that much money. Uh, running out. Warding. I don't think it's worth two more rerolls we'll get. Let's keep warding for now. I think that'd be the better choice. And I think what I'll do is replace my mana cuffs. And, oh hey, there's a witch doctor. Uh, where's the magic guy at? The mage. There he is. And we'll just buy a bunch of these. I mean, it's really not hard to keep just pressing Q. That's what I have it bound to. To use mana. I mean, I can press... I guess I can't press Q when I have full mana. Let me just show you. Q. You know? Just keep doing that. Just keep using the potions. There's no real problem there. And I regen mana really quick, of course, because of my armor. So, now. Now, now, now. Even though, even though I don't have menacing on this, with, uh, where'd it go? Uh, I put it in the chest. Which chest did I put it in? <laughs> okay, it was this chest. So if I use, instead of my boots and my mana cuffs, if I use that, and that, that, right there, that's 15% increased damage. And then there's the added 4% from this, so 19. And if I put 4 more on here, that of course would be 23% more increased damage. And then there's all the crit strike chances, and it, 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 I think it's going to add up enough that it will really help me out. And somehow I dropped my Necromantic Squirrel, and someone was probably screaming, Sorry guys, it is late at night. <laughs> okay, so for safekeeping, let's put this in here. Don't need the dirt anymore. We already did what we needed to. Leave these accessories in my inventory. I don't know why the water candle broke. But yeah, the reason I had an extra sorcerer's emblem... I totally forgot. I didn't even see it in my inventory. Oh my god. I got one off screen and I just put it away. Well, sorry. <laughs> so, this was episode 92. We did the pumpkin moon again. We definitely got further. We definitely did better. We did get a drop. But it wasn't the one we need. So we're still just looking for the bat scepter. That's really what I want right now. So thanks for watching, guys. This was episode 92, and I will see you next time.